Okay, so here you can see the outside wall of the um, upstairs of the structure, and you can see this vertical siding. I don't think you can see in the, the video that there's a crack right here where my finger is. Um, there's another crack here and here, and each of these cracks is an opportunity for bugs to get in. And to illustrate my point, there's a mud wasp nest up, up here where my finger is. I think the wasp is long gone, which is good because I don't like wasps. I don't like being stung. And then there's a patch over here where you can see some light coming through. And, um, you know, I don't know whose idea this, this kind of siding was. It looks great from the ground. It's a crappy uh, wall structure. And so then there's this one by four uh, battens that run across the, the, um, the studs so that the, the siding can be nailed to it. Um, and uh, anyway, so the first step is to do what's called picture framing. And so I go along here and I actually seal the uh, stud cavities. And then I come back and do a light coat to just seal off the, the wall. And when I first started doing the other side of this, I was doing a much heavier coat, which is normally the way you, you want to try and do this in a lift that's an inch and a half. And a lift is a single pass of foam. And um, the problem is it gets into these cracks and then it works its way to the outside as it expands. And so what I found is doing this light pass over this, over this works better for my application. And um, this is kind of where I stopped last night. I, uh, um, and, you know, once, once this light coat has done, been done, then I come in about five to ten minutes later and I do the next pass. Um, you don't, you know, heat, it, heat is uh, involved in foam. The, the chemical reaction is exothermic, which just means it produces heat. And um, one of the problems that can happen is if the foam gets too hot, it can scorch it or cause it to, um, it, it just will cause problems. And so after you place foam, you need to give it a chance to cool back off, and then you can place some more foam on it. And if, if need be, you need to let it cool off again, and then you can place more foam uh, yet again. Um, and so, uh, you know, that's just part of the process. And, um, so if I didn't mention it, this is a closed cell foam and again it will provide a vapor barrier and it's a class 2 vapor barrier. I don't know what the different classes are. I just know that this is a pretty darn good vapor barrier. No air, moisture, or bugs are going to get through this. Um, you know, termites might tunnel through it but they certainly aren't going to eat it. And you know, in Texas there are only two kinds of houses where termites are concerned. Those that have had them and those that will get them. There's no such thing as a termite-proof house unless you live in rock. And even then, you might have problems.